Here we have a circle that's intersected by two parallel lines, GE and HF. And you see that when those parallel lines intersect it, we break the circle up into four arcs. HG, GE, EF, and FH. Now, those four arcs don't all have different sizes. You'll notice EF, 51 degrees. HG is also 51 degrees. The top and the bottom arcs seem to be different. Now, what happens if I grab one of these parallel lines and move it? As I rotate, notice this stays 51 degrees. GH stays 51 degrees. What if I'm not just rotating? What if I just grab the whole thing and shift that entire line away? Well, it's no longer 51 degrees, but both arcs are now 83 degrees. They've stayed exactly the same. GH is larger, but it's the same size as EF. What's happened is that the arcs, as the lines move, have grown at the exact same rate. So we have EF completely congruent to GH. It turns out whenever you have two parallel lines that intersect a circle, the arcs between the parallel lines are congruent the exact same size.